Ever wonder how long it takes for baby cherry shrimp to hatch? Or how in the world the female's eggs get fertilized? Keep watching as I explain the amazing life cycle of a cherry shrimp. Hi, this is The Gamer's Wife here with practical and proven tips to help busy aquarists like you. And when I started keeping shrimp, everyone online just said, oh, throw some shrimp together and you'll have hundreds in no time. Yeah, but how long is that supposed to take? So I delved deeper into the freshwater shrimp community and I found very few resources describing how cherry shrimp breed. I mean, if I don't know exactly how they reproduce, how am I gonna know if I'm doing something wrong? So today I'm gonna tell you the story of a little girl shrimp and a little boy shrimp and how they make babies. Huge thanks to aquariumbreeders.com and planetinverts.com for the information, which I'll link in the description. Parents, this video is going to get a little R-rated here, so if you don't want me explaining the birds and the bees to your children, now would be a good time to pause the video. Okay, let's start with the adults and how to sex them. If you have 10 shrimp, I think there's like a 99.8% chance you'll get at least one male and one female. So definitely don't call any shrimp while your colony is small. Now this may vary a little between the different color morphs of Neocaridinia davidi, but at least for red cherry shrimp, Females are larger in size, about one inch or two and a half centimeters. They're gonna be redder or maybe darker, have a more solid coloration. You'll also notice that sometimes they have a white or yellow saddle on their back. It's gonna be under their exoskeleton, but basically these are undeveloped eggs in their ovaries, which are right behind the head of the shrimp. Clear sign they're a female. Also, of course, if you see them carrying eggs under their tail, another sign they're female. In fact, Females often have a rounder, curved underbelly, especially if they've been pregnant before. Males, on the other hand, are smaller, about three quarters of an inch or two centimeters in length. Their coloration is actually kind of clearish with some red markings or spots or patches on them. The tail is gonna be thinner. In fact, it kind of looks like a juvenile's tail and they're very difficult to sex. Also, this is hard to see, but the male's first two pairs of swimmerettes, which are the little legs under its tail, uh, they contain special reproductive structures, one of which kind of looks like baseball gloves and the other which looks like little spheres covered with bristles. So if the shrimp have opposite genders present, stable water conditions, and plenty of yummy food, the female will start to develop eggs in her saddle where the ovaries are located, like I said before. Once the eggs ripen, the female will molt her exoskeleton, which looks like a clearish white shrimp shell that's completely empty inside. Her new exoskeleton will be soft and flexible, which makes fertilization with the male possible. Pro tip, that means you need to make sure your girl has plenty of nutrients and minerals to successfully molt if you wanna see babies. After the female molts, she's feeling pretty vulnerable with that new soft shell, so to avoid being eaten, she goes into hiding. Well, how are the males gonna find her? That's when she releases these pheromones, which are a chemical signal into the water as a signal to the males that she's ready to do the funky monkey dance. So if you see a ton of male shrimp frantically swimming around the tank instead of passively grazing for food, you know that they're probably looking for that newly molted female. And if you see a couple of shrimp that look like they're fighting or wrestling, but there's no food around, might be a breeding pair getting busy. You may find it interesting to know that shrimp sex is very fast, like a 10 second or less quickie. The male latches onto the female in missionary position where they're facing one another, deposits his sperm into the female's genital opening, and then quickly releases her. At this point, the female's eggs will pass through the deposited sperm as they travel from the ovaries inside her to the outside of her body under her tail. Therefore, if you see a female that is buried or holding eggs under her abdomen, those eggs are definitely fertilized. Fertilized shrimp eggs are rather large, about one millimeter in diameter, and they look yellowish or greenish colored. A transparent ribbon-like membrane binds the eggs to the female swimmerettes, and then she uses her rear ones to fan the eggs, cleaning off any bacteria or fungus and then increasing oxygen flow. Depending on the temperature of the water, the eggs may hatch anywhere from 15 to 35 days. Other sources say two to three weeks, so that's a pretty wide range there. The closer they get to maturity, you may notice little black dots in the eggs, which are the baby shrimp's eyes. 
Now when they're ready to come out, mom will help the baby by kicking at the egg so that it almost looks like the hatchling flies out like popcorn. Unlike other types of shrimp, Neocaridinia shrimp lack a larval stage, so the babies look like itty bitty clear versions of the adult shrimp, about two millimeters in length and less than one millimeter in height. The hatchlings aren't very mobile at this point since their swimming appendages don't work properly yet, so they'll basically latch onto the first thing they find and then try to hide among the rocks and plants as they graze on biofilm. So don't get worried if your female suddenly loses her eggs, most likely the babies are just hiding for the first three to four days. Each buried female usually produces about 21 to 51 babies per batch, and supposedly it's going to be on the higher side if the female's larger, probably because she can produce more and hold more eggs. So how long does it take for the newborn shrimp to become sexually mature? I've heard anywhere from two and a half months, which happened when the scientists kept them at 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius, all the way to four to six months, which seems more realistic to me since I'm keeping them on the cooler side, closer to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. As I mentioned before, the female will be a little less than one inch in length, about 2.3 centimeters, and the male will be maybe two thirds to three quarters of an inch, a little less than two centimeters. In general, the expected total lifespan of a cherry shrimp has been reported to be one to two years. And I've noticed that my oldest, largest females do not tend to carry eggs very often compared to my younger, smaller females, which makes sense. Very few people get pregnant past middle age, so if you're going to buy shrimp, don't pick the biggest shrimp you see because they may be too old to breed. If you really want to up your shrimp breeding game, don't forget to click on the short playlist I prepared for you with my best tips and tricks, and subscribe so you won't miss the next tutorial. Take time to enjoy your aquariums, and I'll see you in the next video.